Um, but sadly, we have to talk about the celebrity slash notable deaths of the week, and there have been quite a few of them. Um, Yay! <laughs> it's been a pretty rotten week. I feel like last week was a little less notable than yeah. this week. This week, um, holy crap, we have a lot of people, um, especially for old folks like myself, um, <laughs> who have been um, affected by this week's deaths. So um, what I'm going to try to do again is uh, I do not have this set up the same way I did a couple weeks ago, but we are going to try to stream a little bit of this through Discord. So if you see Thank a lot you. of different things going on, uh, it's simply because I'm trying to get Katie involved as well, and then you guys can see out there also. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get ready for that. I'm going to click the screen, and we will do this. And then I should just be able to switch overlays like that. And then make this big. And then you guys should be able to see what I see. So now we're going to go up here. And we're going to talk about the celebrity deaths of which the first one on our list. And essentially what I do is I just go each day by day and I, I pull the, the one or two or three most notable people from that day. The first one is a Mexican singer from the band Menudo, um, Adrian Olivares, who was 48 years old. And the way we're going to try to do this is like this. And so Adrian Menudo is... You know, it's always weird because I click on Menudo... And he's not even listed here. That's not funny. There was a lot of past members of Menudo. No wonder why. They're all dead. Are they? I hope not. I don't know. I'm making up shit. But you know, it's weird. You click on his name and it takes you to the Menudo page. So, like, I'm wanting to see a picture of Adrian Oliveira so I can show you guys out there who he was. So we're going to do it this way. Um, Boom. There's Adrian Oliveras right there. He passed away at 48 years old. Um, I didn't realize there were so many band members um, of Menudo. That's crazy. Uh -huh. like a lot of them. But I yes. see that. I'm like looking at this picture like how many is there? Right. So we're going to back That's out fine. of there. And next up on our um, unfortunate list of notable folks is Michael Zuli, who is a 71-year-old American comic book artist um, who was known for a couple of comic books, uh, one, The Puma Blues and The Sandman. Let's see if there's a picture of, of him. Michael Zuli. He looks cool as shit. He looks like he should be a comic book <laughs> artist, doesn't he? He looks yeah, like a badass. He, he also was, uh, did some work on Swamp Thing, um, passed away on July 8th at the age of 71. What a job title, Penciler. I have never seen that word before. Penciler? Penciler, yes. I like it. That kind of reminds me of the old uh, pen pencil battles we used to have in, in school. I don't know if you guys did those <laughs> things. That's what I, yes. when I when I hear Penciler, that's what I think. Um Let's see here. Next up, we move to July 9th, and um, this is the one that kind of affected me the most this week, just because um, a lot of my friends were friends with him. I've never met him. This is Joe Bonsell. He was the lead vocalist of the Oak Ridge Boys, passed away on July 9th at the age of 76. Um, uber, uber, uber talented vocalist um known mm -hmm. for elvira and all, all kinds of other songs um and i know that um last week with the oak ridge boys um william lee golden's son rusty passed away so and and yeah. i think i think one of their wives passed away recently too so they've really been hit hard um the last couple of weeks i want to say I want to say Dwayne Allen's wife passed away as well. I think it was Dwayne Allen's wife, William Lee Golden's son, and then Joe Bonsall himself all Holy passed shit. away within a couple of weeks. Yeah, pretty sure. Um, but anyway, Bonsall died from complications from ALS, um, Lou Gehrig's disease, 
um, which is a horrible, mm, horrible, sad. horrible affliction. Uh, we moved to July 10th, and Joe Engel um, passed away on July 10th. I'm going to get you guys up on the screen for him. He was an American astronaut, um, best known for his STS uh, missions, probably. Um, originally from Chapman, Kansas, he passed away at the age of 91. Joe Engel, 91 years Damn. old. Um, I'm not sure how he died. I don't think I have that listed. I do not. But also on the same day as Joe Engel, um, singer-songwriter, amazing, amazingly talented person, Dave Loggins, um, passed away on July 10th, I guess. Um, best known probably for the song, Please Come to Boston. Um, this was another one that, uh, along with Joe Bonsall, really uh, affected me quite a bit because Dave Loggins um, was a phenomenal songwriter. And so many songs he had that you guys wouldn't even know that he wrote because other people did them. But Dave Loggins is gone. Did you, uh, did you have any experience with Dave Loggins, Katie? I don't. I don't. So you're not familiar with his music at all? I mean, I know what you've... I was trying to read, and I know that song. Yeah. Please come to Boston for the springtime, or something like that. But anyway, Shelly Duvall also Springs passed over, away. so I'll see you next year. Right, right. Uh, but yes, yeah, Shelly Duvall also passed away on July 11th. Now, Shelly Duvall was originally from Texas, born in Texas, died in Texas, um, but best known probably for The Shining. Go ahead, Katie. That was, this is the one not the one. That's awful to say, but this is awful. I love her. She's such a great actress in The Shining. I'm about it. Yeah, and um, I, I remember her mostly from um, Olive Oil. She was Olive Oil to me because um, she played in the in the mm -hmm. the action film Popeye with um, with Robin Williams. So she was always Olive Oil. So for me, Olive Oil has yeah. passed away, and she was she was a ridiculously talented um, um, actress, and also very well known. She was with Paul Simon for three years. Um, in the seventies, yep. um, so yeah, her uh, what a what a talented couple that had to have been. Um, July eleventh also found the end for Monty Kiffin, who was uh, an American football coach, um, best known for um, coaching the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, is what I remember, um, and he's also a member of their Ring of Honor, and I'm pretty sure. He led the Buccaneers to a um, world championship, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. He did, yes. He beat Oakland in Super Bowl 37. Um, nice. My memory is good sometimes. Let's go. <laughs> July 12th is when we start um, um, getting some tough names to pronounce. You got and, it. I believe in you. The first one, now, I, I added Ju this person because at the time that um, the 12th was occurring, um, nobody more famous than him had passed away, but then it was announced the next day um, that somebody who is more famous than him passed away on the same day, but we'll get to that. His name was Jabril Iza Diso. He was a Nigerian um, academic from Kano State, the country's first blind professor he also served as an advisor of the governor of Kano State. Um, Jabril, a Nigerian academic, passed away at the age of 69 on July 12th. And then Damn, the, why? The, That's pretty dope. The bigger name of that day was Dr. Ruth Westheimer, um, mm -hmm. who, who um, golly, when I was growing up, there had to be so many jokes about her. There was so many jokes, Dr. Ruth jokes. Um, but yeah, she was a quote unquote sex therapist, probably the world's most notable sex therapist. And everybody tried to mimic her voice when I was a kid. Um, <laughs> Dr. Ruth, 
Um, that's how we known her is Dr. Ruth um, Westheimer passed away 96 years old um, in New York, originally from Germany, um, and had the very, very thick German accent. Do you know anything of Dr. Ruth, Katie? My like in the in the deepest crevice in my brain, yes. Okay, so you probably just heard like your family mention her in passing or something. No, I think like when I was younger, maybe, but yeah. So we had a couple of things happen on the thirteenth. <laughs> we're not going to talk about the major thing that happened on the thirteenth, just because we're just not. Right, we're just not. Um, so we won't be mentioning this person's name at all, but we will be talking about Richard Simmons. Now, mm -hmm. Richard Simmons, to, to me, Richard Simmons was part of probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, first of all. And I've been thinking about playing it here on the show. And so we'll think about that for a minute while we talk about Richard Simmons. But Richard Simmons was an American fitness personality and public figure. And unfortunately, he kind of disappeared from the limelight for the last, I don't know, 20 years or so. But golly, such a talented dude. Katie, are you aware of his appearance on Whose Line Is It Anyway? I feel like I've seen his face, but I have no idea. Oh, my God. So he was... Um, he was homosexual and, and very, very flamboyant and just, <laughs> just very flamboyant. I love Richard Simmons so much. So you haven't seen this. So that means this is going to be fresh for Katie. This is going to be completely fresh. I can't wait. And I hope we don't get copyrighted for this. If we do, it'll be freaking worth it. I promise. I know. Because this right here is funny as hell. This is going to be six and a half minutes, y'all. Okay? But if you haven't seen this, it. if you haven't seen this, you're about to die. Here we go. Scenery. This is for Ryan. Let's continue the show with a game called, I love this game, Living Scenery. This is for Ryan, Colin, and Wayne. And Richard Simmons, everybody. Richard Simmons. <laughs> Living scenery. Uh, this is my favorite game. How about you all? <laughs> Suddenly, it's my favorite game, too, all of a sudden. Thanks, Mr. Carey. Call me Drew. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Ryan and Colin, Ryan and Colin are going to act out a scene. And during the scene, they have to use a number of props. However, since they don't have any real props to work with I'll tonight. I'll be the prop. Right. Wayne and Richard. <laughs> Wayne and Richard Simmons are going to stand and become the props. I'll be all the props for these men. Nickel for every time I heard that, huh? <laughs> Colin, there's a scene. You're a lot. I'm gonna lie, can't wait. On a luxury cruise liner, a couple makes the most of a day of sunbathing, water sports, and entertainment. <laughs> Take it away, Ryan and Colin. Oh, ah, this is the most romantic trip we've ever been on. Yeah, yeah, me too. Being your wife. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, honey. Hey, why don't we look at the scenery through the little telescopes ahead? All here. right. <laughs> look, there's an island over there. An island? Yeah. <laughs> this one wants more coins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes. What can we do? Hey, why don't we get out the deck chairs? All righty. You get the shiny one. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Honey. The 
<laughs> this one's wet. I'd love to. <laughs> Hurt. He's smoking a cigarette, bro. He's like, that was fun. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, we're on a tropical island. It was really rough out there. <laughs> Believe me. How did we end up on this island? I don't know. You Honey, want... please climb that tree and get me a coconut. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 this tree fell down. <laughs> wow, so many. There's are so many. This hey, is the bet. What? We have to build a house. Build a house. Or a raft to get off this island. We're not using the jet skis? They're broken now. Okay. <laughs> you know how you build a good raft? Oh, good. Yeah. You put pieces of bamboo together. You're right. <laughs> there we go. Lay them down on the ground so we can get them tied together. <laughs> Legitimately one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Um, I laugh every time I see it, dude. It's so funny. Uh, but yeah, I'm telling you, dude, that whole episode is amazing. You guys need to go check it out. But yeah, sadly, Richard Simmons is no longer with us. And honestly, he's not been with us for a long time. He really left um, public life a long time ago, sadly. Yeah. Um, and um, anyway, next up on the same day, and this was kind of the, uh, again, like kind of the three, there was Dr. Ruth and Richard Simmons, and then Shannon Doherty, all on the same day were announced. Um, and Shannon Doherty um, is somebody that I've actually met in my life, um, and I will tell that story here in a minute, but she was a 53-year-old uh, American actress, best known for the shows Charmed and Beverly Hills 90210. Um, obviously announced um, over a year ago that she was um, that she had stage four cancer, breast cancer, I believe, and um, so we we've known for a while that she was not doing well, and unfortunately she has lost her battle with cancer as of July thirteenth. Only fifty three years old, and um, so yeah, I was um, familiar or friendly with uh, Mark Wahlberg when I was a kid. Mark was a couple of grades ahead of me um, in my local area, and when he was doing his Funky Bunch stuff, when he was essentially a rapper, um, he mm -hmm. was actually dating Shannon Doherty, and I met her at one of his parties. Um, he had an after-show party or something like that, and she was there, and um, she did not make the best impression, let's just put it that way, but that was a really long time ago, and we were really young, so... Um, <laughs> But yeah, definitely did not make the best impression. And she was, like, super famous at the time, too. So, like, everybody was kind of on eggshells around her also. Um, but, yeah, sadly, she is no longer here. Um, Shannon Maria Doherty, aged 53. Um, yeah. 
Uh, cancer sucks, man. Yeah. July 14th was a really horrible day for young folks um, that were somewhat notable. The first of which was um, an uh, American football player, Super Bowl champion Jacoby Jones, uh, passed away at the age of 40. <clears throat> Um, he was probably best known for his uh, time with the Baltimore Ravens, who won the Super Bowl when he was with them. Uh, wide receiver, and strangely enough, he passed away peacefully. I say quote-unquote peacefully, because that's what his family said. Peacefully at his home at 40 years old. So did a little digging, and apparently he passed away just in his sleep. He went to bed and never woke up, so... What the fuck? Yeah, 40 years old. So I would imagine it had to be something like um, maybe a heart attack or a stroke or an aneurysm maybe or something. Like, I don't know, like respiratory issues? I don't know. That's the you, only thing. I... You, you would think that would have been known beforehand. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? You would think they would say something that was that big, so. But yeah, that was uh, Jacoby Jones, and he was a hell of a player. And from what I can tell, I know this happens a lot when somebody notable dies. Um, but not, there was nobody saying a bad thing about this guy. There were so many people who were, who were, um, testifying or test being a testimony towards his character, um, which I always love to see, um, especially yeah. in the, the world of sports, people can be so ugly. Um, yeah. uh, this is one that I added to the list today that I noticed. I do not know who this person is, but Bella Thompson um, who was a 10-year-old TikToker from Canada, has passed away. I don't know anything about this. I saw it, and I was like, we have to add it. And we're actually going to do our we'll do our homework now and see who she was and, and what the story is behind this. Her TikTok's Bella Brave has passed away. Apparently, she was a cancer patient. Let's see here. No. Here she is. Um, she looks so sweet. Ten-year-old girl from Swift Current, Saskatchewan, who attracted millions of followers while sharing her health story online, has died. So she was essentially. It looks like she was. I I recognize that. I recognize her. Yeah. I think okay. so too. Yeah. Yep. I recognize her. Well, that is sad because I do believe I'm one of the followers um, that was following. That sucks, man. Ten years sad. old. I know her life. Um, if I, if it's the one that I was thinking uh, that that I'm thinking about, her life was essentially just doctors and hospitals from the time she was real little. Yeah. Um. And she's <laughs> also the one that made headlines, I believe, for meeting uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds actually went up there and met her. And. Um, yeah, I think you're right on that. Yep. Anyway, last one on the list. This is one from today, July fifteenth, as we record. This is a. Uh, Jacques Boudet, I know my pronunciation is on fire, you don't have to tell me. I know, man. Jacques Boudet was a French stage and screen actor, had great success in the 80s with his appearance and exercises in style, and was featured in the film The Names of Love, passed away on July 15th in Montpellier, France, at age 89. Oh. Mont Pel it's probably Pellier, actually. It's not spelled the same way as the town in Vermont. Strange. But yeah. <laughs> Jacques Boudet is the last notable person on our list from this week. Um it was a rough week for for well known people, sadly. Yeah. Again, just to wrap up, uh Joe Bonsell, lead singer of the Oak Ridge Boys, Dave Loggins, uh amazing, amazing singer songwriter, Shelley Duvall. Um, from The Shining, Monty Kiffin, Super Bowl champion um, coach, Dr. Ruth, Richard Simmons, Shannon Doherty, um, Jacoby Jones. A lot of uber-famous people this week. Yeah. Sad, sad to say. So hopefully uh, hopefully we won't get copywritten for that Richard Simmons clip, but I, I felt <laughs> like um, for those who for those who are younger now, like Katie who may not know who Richard Simmons was. He was just that funny all the time. Like, he was just ridiculously funny. 